Yonah, Jonah 1. Now, the word of Yahuwah came unto Yonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Yonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of Yahuwah, and went down to Yafo, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof, and went down into it, to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of Yahuwah. But Yahuwah sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. Then the mariners were afraid, and cried every man unto his Elohim, and cast forth at the wares that were in the ship into the sea, to lighten it of them. But Yonah was gone down into the sides of the ship, and he lay, and was fast asleep. So the shipmaster came to him, and said unto him, What do you mean, O sleeper? Arise, call upon your Elohim, if so be that Elohim will think upon us, that we perish not. And they said every one to his fellow, Come and let us cast lots, that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell upon Yonah. Then said they unto him, Tell us, we pray you, for whose cause this evil is upon us. What is your occupation, and whence come you? What is your country, and of what people are you? And he said unto them, I am an Ivri, and I fear at Yahuwah, the yellow high of heaven, which has made the sea and the dry land. Then were the men exceedingly afraid, and said unto him, Why have you done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of Yahuwah, because he had told them. Then said they unto him, What shall we do unto you? that the sea may be calm unto us. For the sea wrought and was tempestuous. And he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea. So shall the sea be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake this great tempest is upon you. Nevertheless the men rode hard to bring it to the land, but they could not for the sea wrought, and was tempestuous against them. Wherefore they cried unto El Yahuwah, and said, We beseech you, O Yahuwah, we beseech you, let us not perish for this man's life, and lay not upon us innocent blood. For you, O Yahuwah, have done as it pleased you. So they took up Eth, Yonah, and cast him forth into the sea. And the sea ceased from her raging. Then the men feared at Yahuwah exceedingly, and offered a sacrifice unto Yahuwah, and made vows. Now Yahuwah had prepared a great fish to swallow up at Yonah. And Yonah was in the belly of the fish, three days and three nights.